1918, Russian magistrates claimed that Pelsall had too many public houses, stating that there were 21 in the village. The Free Trade Inn was the oldest, first being established in 1735. Although the Free Trade Inn closed down many years ago, it was here that perhaps the most terrifying paranormal experience was had in a Pelsall public house. Established in 1735, the Free Trade Inn was the oldest public house in Pelsall. Between 1852 and 1892, the Free Trade Inn would have been the favourite watering hole for employees of Pelsall Coal and Iron Company, which employed around a thousand men and boys. At that time, there was only a canal bridge and a short walk between them and the Free Trade Inn. In 2001, Ray Gallagher was the licensee of the Free Trade Inn, and at that time I was fortunate enough to be able to interview him about paranormal activity at the establishment. When I interviewed Ray, he had many interesting tales to share with me, the first of which related to the discovery of a bricked up, previously unknown room, which contained fancy stained glass windows. This was not the first discovery of a concealed room at the Free Trade Inn, but yet another which added to the mystery of the Free Trade Inn's past. Shortly after, Mrs Joan Healy and husband Glenn took over the Free Trade Inn in 1985, they began to make lots of changes in order to turn it back into an old coaching inn. In 1987, when renovation work was being carried out and the bottle store was being converted into the new restaurant, at that time an important historical find was made. Hidden behind one of the plaster walls, was a 180-year-old black-leaded grate and a cast-iron arch window dated 1735. It could be said that such discoveries could have disturbed dormant ghosts. In their time in charge of the Free Trade Inn, Catherine and John Heath claimed that cellar taps were regularly switched off. Tills came back on in the night, bric-a-brac fell off the walls and children were often heard laughing even when there were no children around. Also during that time, a number of customers reported seeing a figure in a Victorian dress. Although he himself had never seen a ghost at the Free Trade Inn, Ray was very aware of its disturbing past. Ray told me that according to what he had been told, two children were once murdered at the establishment. Following research, I was able to confirm that two children with the surname Fox, were in fact killed at the Free Trade Inn. Despite these very tragic circumstances, the ghosts of these children have never been seen. As far as I'm aware, Ray Gallagher told me that there were said to be two laid ghosts at the Free Trade Inn who do like to have their presence felt. One was affectionately known as Alice and the other was known as Sarah. Alice is believed to be the wife of a previous licensee who died in the 1970s. The other ghost, Sarah, is said to date back to 1860. Alice had a tendency to haunt the bar area of the Free Trade Inn and in the past had made her presence felt more than once or twice. Ray told me that three licensees before him, on one occasion, a heavy door to the right-hand side of the bar, which is usually left ajar, started banging for no apparent reason. Absolutely terrified by this and the sudden drop in temperature, the bartender at the time jumped across the bar into the lounge. It was also said that Alice was rather partial to the odd tipple of brandy and was once blamed for turning the brandy sour. Alice had also been spotted in the corner by the fruit machine. Ray had never seen Alice, but did not doubt that she was around. The other ghost, Sarah, was said to haunt the cellar. Unlike Alice, Sarah was a much more aggressive spirit. 
She was never in your space. You were in hers. Ray recalled that in the past, one of the barmen, a man of around six foot five in height, went into the cellar to carry out some routine tasks. When he got into the cellar, he saw a grey-haired old lady sitting with her head in her hands, sobbing. <laughs> then it suddenly dawned on him that the old lady he had just seen was a ghost. Terrified, he bolted out of the cellar, cleared the bar and refused ever to set foot in the free trade in cellar again. Due to its reputation for paranormal activity, the free trade in always attracted a lot of attention at Halloween and customers were always keen to connect with its ghosts. At one point, a murder mystery night was held in the hope of enticing ghosts out into the open. Whether or not they were ever successful is unknown. Following its closure, by 2015, the Free Trade Inn had stood empty for many years. Then, in 2018, the building was renovated and converted into three dwellings.